Hi everyone, I am Achal and welcome back to the series where we are learning about SAP process automation. In the last video, we have covered how we can set up account in SAP BTP cockpit and how we can subscribe to the service of SAP process automation. This is the link of the lobby of SAP build which we can get from SAP BTP cockpit. Here in this video, we are going to learn how we can create our first automation and run it on our agent in the design mode. For that, I need to click on this create button. As soon as I create, click on that create button, it gives me an option to create an application automated process and business site. As you can see, the other two options are disabled because I have not properly uh, authorized those two applications roles for this user. So I will click on build an automated process. As soon as I click on that option, it gives me another two options which says business process and task automation. I will click on task automation and provide the name of our project. Let's say hello world project. As soon as I click on that hello world project, it redirects me inside the project. And an, another of pop up we can see this pop up asks us to select the agent version. If I will click on the drop down for selecting the agent version, it asks me to select an agent version from all the versions released from SAP process automation team. If you see agent version 3.24 it says local and registered it means that this is the agent version that is installed on my machine i will select this and click on confirm now it asks me what is the name of the automation that i want to create so it means that a project can hold many automations and the first automation that I want to create inside the project of hello world what is the name I should give it to let's say I give the name hello world automation and click on create as soon as I click on create it it redirects me to that automation if we can see the panels that are given inside this automation this is the main panel here it says a start button and add button start marks the start of that automation and end signifies that the end step of this automation it says i can add different triggers to this automation and inside the triggers it only gives me an option of new api trigger as of now, we are not exploring this API trigger. Our main objective is to see whether this automation can run. And another panel we will see is for the error. So if there is any error inside this main, pa main automation path, it will redirect us to error panel and all the steps inside the error panel will be executed. On the right hand side, we can see there are drop downs related to different things which we can drop and down or drop down inside our main panel if we see inside the drop down of automations it lists out different automations which are present inside this project as of now only one pro one automation is present which is called hello world automation so we are not able to see another automations Inside the automation of activities, it lists out different activities that we can drag and drop inside our main panel and we can use. Inside the data activities, it, it comprises of different artifacts or activities which we can use related to management of data. And inside the control activities, it lists out different controls that we can use 
to give automations of flow for example conditions for each loop and switch cases we will begin by displaying a log message hello world so for that in the search panel on the right hand side i will search for the activity log message if we can see as soon as i search it gives me the activity log message i will drag this activity and drop down on our main panel and inside that i will write hello world if we see right hand panel of this activity marks the input parameters that this activity can hold for example message message signifies what is the text we want to print inside the log and then there is another parameter which says type type says that what type of log i should give it to whether it is a information error question warning event data action or user action as of now i leave it blank and the third activity it's asks for the label label of the log message i also leave this thing as a blank if you see only on the th out of the three pa input parameters only the message input parameter gives us the asterisk sign which means that only this input parameter is required after giving the message hello world inside the message input parameter i save this automation now in order to run the automation on the above panel there is a play button which says test i click that button then it asks for this pop up and i click on the test button as soon as i click that test button this automation from the cloud get trying to make connections with the desktop agent which is installed on my machine then inside the desktop agent it downloads the package from the cloud as soon as that package gets downloaded on the agent the automation gets run if we can see on the left hand side there is a panel which says which lists out all the steps in, of our automation hello world automation start log message and end and in the below panel we see there are three panels design test console and variables panel in the design console panel it lists out all the error warnings and infos while designing the automation in the test console panel it lists out all the messages related to error warnings and infos when we are testing the automation we will see the hello world is printed and if we scroll uh, drop down this hello world it provides various information related to this log message like the type of the log message the label and the inputs in the left hand side panel we can click on the activity log message and on the right hand side panel as soon as we click on the log message activity we will see the message printed out by the log message activity that's called the trace panel or the raster panel that's all for this video in next video we are going to cover the excel activities related to sap process automation thanks guys let's meet in the next video